Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great CDK day. Today I'm going to talk about AWS config setup with CDK. Let me brief you about what AWS config is. Config is a fully managed region specific service which lets you audit the resources across your region and logs the, logs the changes to S3 bucket and also notifies you regarding the same. It's mainly used for audit and compliance purposes. Let us suppose you have an EC2 instance which has gone down today and you want to track what has been changed from yesterday to today. You can go and check the logs and also revert to the previous configuration if you wish to. It also lets you track the relationships your resource has. Like I want to delete an elastic IP and ensure that it is not attached to any of the EC2 instances, I can go and check my config for the relationships and also which ensures safe deletion of the elastic IP. Let us go and check what, how to set up the config on the dashboard. So this is how it looks like. To set up the config, you need to, you need to choose uh, what resources you want to audit. If it's all resources, you can check this. If you want to go for specific type of resources, you can choose those. And you need to specify an S3 bucket where you want to store all your configuration logs, right? Change logs. So you can also select an uh, SNS topic to act as a delivery channel. This is purely an optional step. This will notify you every time a change happens in the logs. And also you need to have a config role. This is a service role which, which lets config to have read-only access to all the resources you want to track and also have uh, write access to your S3 and publish access to your SNS, right? Next, let's skip the config rules for now. So once you confirm, the config will be set up in this region. Uh, so the dashboard looks like this after that. So here we are tracking all these resources. So every time a change happens, it writes it to the configuration timeline. You can go and check that. And this is the S3 bucket where the logs are going to be stored. Since this is region specific service, you have a region uh, regions as logs here so let us assume you want to ensure certain standards across all your tenants you want to make sure that logging is enabled on all the s3 buckets across all your tenants so for that you can have these rules deployed into your config which tracks the all the resources and gives you a report of non-compliant and compliant resources. So I have enabled S3 bucket uh, logging enabled rule here. So this evaluates all your resources and gives you a status about which are compliant and non-compliant. If you go to the compliance timeline, it lets you see on which date it's non-compliant and which date it is it has been changed all the change logs you can see here and as told you can even check the relationships this is the logging bucket which has been enabled on this right so aws itself has a few managed tools which you can use if you also want to build your own custom rules you can use rdk rule development kit to build your rules and deploy it in the config So this is how the automation looks like. You have an uh, CDK app, which is Config Auditor app. You can deploy in your central account or dev account. And this will, this will set up the config in all our target accounts. So it assumes a role and in your target account and checks if the config is already set up. If not, it will go on creating the S3 bucket and SNS topic to act as a delivery channel and 
it also turns on your configuration recorder so once this setup is done you can have your uh, rule stack set which will ensure these rules are deployed into this uh, particular target account right so this is how the code looks the cdk app here most of it is a boilerplate code like when you do cdk in it uh, let's go to the starting point of my app here we have this stack mm, this is a cloud formation st stack which we are going to deploy so here you have this env variable this will take region and account id as variables so you can give those two uh, which deploys in these account and this region if you don't specify anything it will go for the default region which is uh, applicable to your role and if you want to give environment variables this is the place you have you can give it in it as a dictionary here and this is how my stack looks like so i am using a lambda construct to deploy my uh, lambda here so uh, all my re reusable code will be going into a layer here so this layer uh, i'm attaching this layer to my lambda and uh, i'm also giving my lambda assume role permissions so i am attaching the policy to the lambda role this lambda role will be already created you need to attach this policy here so let us go to my lambda code this is the folder where all my lambda assets will be if you go and check this uh, here i'm creating an s3 bucket uh, so i'm using only one bucket for the entire uh, account and you will have uh, to create an SNS topic to set up as delivery channel. So once I'm setting up the topic, I'm going to set up a config recorder also. So then delivery channel setup, and then we will start the config recorder to uh, to check the logs. So once that is done, so when you do a CDK synth, you will your app all that app will be changed into uh, this cloud formation template you can use this for your local testing if you want to and once you build your app you can uh, use this build spec yaml and build your core pipeline uh, using this and deploy your cdk app here so this will deploy the app in the region and account you specify here right so once the app is deployed it will start going to the target accounts and creates the config setup there so this is the same automating the process which i have explained now now once the config is set up you also want to deploy the rules so you can select for uh, all the rules from aws managed ones and also if you have any custom rules you can package everything into a stack set and you can update this stack set with the target account id so which will create a stack instance that means all those uh, rules which is in this stack will be deployed on our target account and so once the uh, stack set has been deployed uh all you all your rules with config is set up into all your target accounts so this is how we are uh, setting up config so that's it i'll drop a link for the github repo if you want to take a look at it and thank you so much for joining me have a great day